Icon of the Seas. Meet the Icon of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship and a true floating city. Launched in 2023, this colossal vessel is about 95 meters longer than the Titanic and began carrying passengers in 2024. She can host up to 7,600 guests with a crew of 2,350 needed to keep everything running smoothly. To move this giant, engineers equipped it with powerful engines that run on both liquefied natural gas and distillate fuel, giving it a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour. But speed isn't the attraction here. Passengers will be too busy exploring the ship's 20 decks, which house restaurants, sports courts, a full theater, a massive water park, and even a 17-meter waterfall. With tickets starting at $1,850, the Icon of the Seas promises unforgettable memories and endless entertainment. Hard Drive Marine LC-7 This distinctive boat, built by a company specializing in landing craft, is designed for both speed and functionality. Its front section doubles as a boarding platform, allowing for quick and efficient loading. Equipped with sturdy beach-crawling spikes, the LC-7 can grip the shore and pull itself in, letting passengers disembark without stepping into the water. When it's time to leave, the boat uses the same system to push away from the shore. These spikes can also function as anchors when needed. Some versions feature a modular wheelhouse that can slide forward by 12 feet and then back again, adapting to different operational needs. Measuring about 30 feet in length, the LC-7 has enough capacity to transport large cargo, even small cars, catamaran. This innovative catamaran features a special passenger compartment that can be hydraulically raised above the surface or lowered into the water. This design makes it a unique hybrid between an electric boat and a small submarine. While divers still need their own equipment, the cabin allows them to be submerged into the water even while the boat is in motion. Powered by two electric motors, the vessel can operate for up to four hours both on and beneath the surface. On the water, its average cruising speed is 5.6 miles per hour, with a maximum speed of 11.2 miles per hour. The catamaran measures 18.7 by 8.2 feet and weighs around 1,590 pounds. Jet Surf Titanium DFI Sky the Titanium DFI has made waves in the market as the lightest motorized surfboard ever built. Weighing just 11.3 kilograms, it's much lighter than most competitors, which usually come in at around 18 kilograms. Its compact size, just 180 centimeters long, means it can fit easily into most car trunks. But don't let the size fool you. This is far from a toy. The DFI packs a 100cc two-stroke gasoline engine, delivering 15 horsepower, giving you serious performance on the water. With a claimed top speed of 62 kilometers per hour, it offers an adrenaline rush unlike anything else. And even if you don't max it out, the pure thrill and excitement of the ride make it an unforgettable experience. Of course, all that innovation comes at a price, around $14,360. But for riders chasing the ultimate surf adventure, it just might be worth every penny. Bodahome Quest Eco Bodahome has developed a clever hybrid between a houseboat and a camping trailer. By shrinking down the size of a traditional houseboat to that of a trailer, they've made it far easier to tow, while still keeping all the comforts of living on the water. Take the Quest model, for example. At 7.6 meters long, it comes equipped with a cozy kitchen featuring a window, sink, oven, and more. At the rear, you'll find a deck with an external awning, perfect for relaxing and enjoying your favorite drink. 
For propulsion, the Quest Eco uses two suspended motors, similar to those on a standard motorboat, each delivering 40 horsepower. Of course, comfort and versatility come at a price. This hybrid vessel starts at around $182,000. Rafnar Leisure The Icelandic company Rafnar may have only released its first vessel in 2015, but it quickly turned heads among buyers and the media. There are a few reasons why. For starters, Rafnar engineers created the UR hull technology. Boats designed with this experience 95% less impact than traditional hulls, making the ride much smoother. This greatly reduces the chance of injuries and seasickness. Additionally, Rafnar's vessels can right themselves instantly if they capsize. You can see this in action with the Rafnar 1100. This model has three engines, putting out a total of 150 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of 93 kilometers per hour. With space for 12 people, it's perfect for fishing trips with friends in rough weather or for search and rescue operations. Bravada Atlas 5 Series Yachts Bravada specializes in building houseboats that are essentially floating homes, blending comfort and luxury on the water. A typical V-Series model measures 24 meters in length, offering plenty of space and style. Take the Invictus vessel as an example. Its name alone makes you wonder if the owners are fans of the Paco Rabanne fragrance. Engineers have carefully divided the 297 square meters of living space into five suites, two kitchens, two bathrooms, and two cabins. In total, it can comfortably accommodate up to 14 guests. The interior design is so sleek and modern that it could easily be featured on an episode of MTV Cribs. On the outside, Bravada chose to break away from the boxy look of traditional houseboats, opting instead for smooth, seductive curves that stand out on the water. Of course, luxury comes at a price. This vessel is valued at around $2 million. Cormoran K7A jet ski and a catamaran in one? You bet. Step onto the Cormoran K7. Its hydrofoils adjust to transform it into a speedy boat, blending the best of both worlds. Plus, when you open the swimming platform and lift the butterfly wing doors, it becomes your personal floating island. The creators believe this is a game changer in boat design, so they've used top-notch technology throughout. They've built a carbon fiber monocoque, much like an F1 car. If you wish, the engines can be boosted to 900 horsepower, reaching speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. In fact, they've even considered developing a racing version. Naturally, it comes with features like hi-fi audio, autopilot, leather upholstery, and other luxuries. And the price? It's around $1.7 million. Racebird, you've heard of Formula E, the electric counterpart to Formula One, now meet its aquatic sibling, the E1 Series, the world's first electric powerboat racing championship. Behind both innovations is Alejandro Agag, a Spanish entrepreneur passionate about motorsport and sustainability. To promote the E1 series, Agag introduced the Racebird, an electric speedboat designed specifically for this new competition. Powered by a 200 horsepower electric outboard motor, the Racebird uses hydrofoils to lift above the water, reducing drag and increasing efficiency. Although its top speed is currently 93 kilometers per hour, not quite as fast as conventional race boats, it makes up for it by producing almost no wake and needing just two full recharges per race. The Racebird isn't just about speed. It's a symbol of the future of eco-conscious racing on water. Looker 320. Back in 2020, the global boat market didn't just grow. It exploded with over 310,000 units sold in the US alone. Naturally, every manufacturer wanted a share of the boom, but the real question was how to stand out. The creators of the Looker 320 found the perfect answer, a two by three meter transparent bottom that lets passengers admire the underwater world in stunning detail. A simple idea, yet so effective that these boats are now found in 35 countries and every ocean on the planet. And don't worry about durability. The transparent section is built from 15 millimeter thick modified acrylic, making it even stronger than the hulls of some other boats. The 22 passenger model is priced at around $123,000, offering both a practical tour vessel and a floating window into the ocean's beauty.